Welcome to the short book summaries channel if you are new to this channel kindly consider subscribing this channel to stay updated on each new book coming to this world. In case you like and want to buy this book the link is given in the description below. Now enjoy the summary. This book reveals the origin of self-hate, how self-hate works, how to identify it, and how to go beyond it. It provides examples of some of the forms self-hate takes, including taking blame but not credit, holding grudges, and trying to be perfect, and explores the many facets of self-hate, including its role in addiction, the battering cycle, and the illusion of control. After addressing these factors, it illustrates how a meditation practice can be developed and practiced in efforts to free oneself from self-hating beliefs. This is a playful and disarming introduction to Zen Buddhism written for people, like me, who grew up believing that self-correction is the path to happiness. I'm currently reading The Mandala of Being by Richard Moss which is a much more serious examination of the exact same topic. I'm glad I read Huber first, though, because her spacious presentations and almost childlike handwriting gave me the humility I needed to actually begin practicing. Amazing book. I first read this in my 20s and was blown away both by her fun way of illustrating the idea of negative self-talk slash self-hate and by the fact that what I thought was a thing personal to me, was something that many people experience. Sherry Huber is a wise and kind woman. Her words still guide me today, almost 20 years after I first read this book. This book got me through a very difficult time. It was a changing point for my mental health, and my relationship with what's between my ears. I last read it about a year ago, so I will not do it justice if I try to give it a detailed review, but this book probably had more impact on my life and mental health than any other book. It made me realize a very simple yet often forgotten truth, beating myself up for everything single mistake will not make me a good person, because I already am. Self-hate makes me think that I am a bad person, so that it can beat me up to be a good person. It's a battle of life and death for it, because once you realize the truth, there is no need for self-hate to exist. And the only way you can win is if you too fight as if you're fighting for dear life, because it actually is a battle for life and death for you too. There is nothing wrong with me, 